Hey everyone, what you're about to watch is a video pitch I did back in 2007. Adult Swim contacted me about possibly turning Charlie into a TV show, and so I got together with my friend Matt Books to discuss how to make Charlie more adult swimmy, and then I put together this video to pitch the show. And, uh, yeah, yeah, it would have been... Would have been terrible. This pitch is pretty bad. There's horrible new characters and well the whole thing was put together in like two days, so it's all a little awkward. It worked though. This got me a contract, which I turned down, so there could have been a Charlie show, but it would have been a bad Charlie show. Well, here's the pitch. Hello there, Mr. Swim. My name is Charlie the Unicorn, and I'm here to pitch you our little show. Ch Charlie! We're coming to get you, Charlie! We're coming to get you! This television program will be a terrible investment and will most likely fail miserably on every level. Or will it? Uh, now, if you're not sold yet, then let me explain the characters you will be seeing in this program. First, me, Charlie the Unicorn. In each episode, situations come up that usually end poorly for me. Like my trip to the River of Hate, or my romp through the forest of watermelons and misery. Whatever happens, it's more than likely gonna suck for Charlie. Here are my tormentors. A blue unicorn and a pink unicorn, who shall remain nameless because it's somewhat creepier that way. They usually have some sort of secret plan or agenda. However, I'm always at a loss to understand what that is. Here's a few pictures of my dog. Isn't he cute? Oh, his name is Nike, like the shoe. Another character who will make regular appearances is Snuffle Gus. He's the mayor of the magical forest or wherever the hell it is we live. Here is a very rough sketch of what he looks like. He's short, fuzzy, and white. He has the body of a teddy bear, but an elephant-like face. Here's an audio recording of his snuffly voice for your listenary pleasure. I'm Snuffly Wuffly! Hmm, you're almost... Too snuffly wuffly. Well, you can never be too snuffly wuffly. We think you are too snuffly wuffly. What? What are you? Oh God! I'll be less snuffly wuffly. I promise. Yeah. So I'm betting that blue and pink will be seen later wearing his snuffly skin. The next character is Leggy, a tiny, one-legged, no-armed fairy who zips around the forest singing lovely fairy songs. She'll sometimes make an attempt at rescuing me from my various perilous situations. However, these efforts are, uh, rarely successful. Because she's a fairy. With one leg. And no arms. So like I'm stuck down in a cave somewhere and da-da-da, it's Leggy, come to save the day. But like, totally not, because she can't do anything. I hate Leggy. There are many other characters in our program, but most of them just show up for one or two episodes. Like Sluggy, the lovable soul-eating slug. Ah, uh, Sluggy. There's also various dinosaurs, dolphins, goblins, and other crap inhabiting the forest. So, by now you might be wondering, what exactly is this show about? Well, imagine Gone with the Wind mixed with 2001 A Space Odyssey. Huh? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. In space! Ah! Okay, this isn't going so well, uh... You have to believe, Charlie! I am believing! You have to believe hardlier, Charlie! Uh, hardlier -er. Look, there's no more hardlier -er I can believe! hardlier hardlier A typical episode would be me being led around by the blue and pink unicorns, going to strange locations, meeting odd characters, getting injured and mutilated, etc, etc. At some point in the show, a character will break into song, and fun times will be had by all. Some example episodes would be... The Marshmallow People. Light, fluffy, and deadly. What horrors are in store for Charlie and the gang when they accidentally burn down Marshmallow Castle? Then, hold on to your mustaches for... Planet of Love. Blue and Pink build a rocket with the power of teamwork and bring Charlie along to the mysterious Planet of Love. Spoiler! By the end of the episode, Charlie's heart has been ripped out of his body to power the great love machine. Oh my! Then, Snuffle Gus's brother Ruffle Gus visits the magical forest, but his plans are not so snuffly. After he kidnaps Snuffles, can Charlie and the gang rescue their friend before it's too snuffling late? Also, don't miss the classic episode, Charlie breaks his legs and begs for death. After an unfortunate tumble down Ice Cream Canyon, Charlie begs for someone to end his horrible existence. Spoiler! Instead, they turn him into a boat. What? Yay! Now doesn't that all sound like fun? So please, give our show a chance. We promise it will be annoying, unmarketable, and repetitive. If I catch you downloading this disc, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break down your door and commandeer your mom! Ugh!